Hi guys, welcome back to the Art of Server. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the HP Z840 with SAS 3 controllers. So this is kind of a special request video that came from a customer who was uh, discussing with me on eBay how he wanted to upgrade his HP Z840 to SAS 3. And so I have here my HP Z840. And if you recall from my other videos, there is an onboard LSI SAS 2308 SAS controller on this machine. And the way this is connected is that these four drive bays right here have these four SATA cables that are coming out and they connect to these SATA ports down here. These white SATA ports are actually SAS ports, although they are SATA connectors. And these are the ones that are connected to the onboard LSI SAS 2308 controller. Now, for whatever reason, uh, although this generation of machine, which is the Haswell Broadwell uh, generation of Intel machines, uh, the SAS 3 was available at that time. And so, for example, if you look at the Dell T7910, which is a competitor to this HP Z840, that has a SAS uh, 3008 LSI controller on board. Dell, uh, not Dell, sorry, uh, HP, for whatever reason, uh, decided to stay with the 2308 chipset, which is just fine for 6 gigabit. Uh, speeds using uh, SAS 2 or SATA 3 SSDs and of course hard drives. So perhaps uh, because these are three and a half inch bays, HP felt that you know most people might be using hard drives in these bays and so therefore six gigabit was plenty enough. And so they stuck with the LSI SAS 2308. Now this individual that I was discussing uh, on eBay with wanted to upgrade these uh, drive bays to be able to handle SAS 3. Now, normally that's not a problem because these are direct attached uh, connections. And normally what you would want to do is upgrade with a card like this. This is a LSI SAS 3008 based uh, HBA card. And the problem here is that these cards, the SAS 3 cards, often have these type of connectors, which are SFF 8643 connectors. And the challenge is that these are SATA cables that are coming out of the drive bays and finding a male SATA plug that goes into a SFF8643 is just very hard to find. I in fact have never seen such a cable. And so the upgrade path to SAS3 is not obvious because of the connectivity reasons. Now had these uh, four drive bays have an actual backplane instead of these individual cables, and there was some sort of SAS connector on it, say like an SFF 80, uh, 8087, then finding a cable from 8087 to 8643 is actually not hard. But unfortunately, this is not the case. We have these SATA cable plugs coming out of these drive bays. And so if you've seen my other video, a, on the HP Z800 on how to convert that from SAS1 to SAS2. I demonstrated how you would do that with this cable here. And this is a special cable from HP. And it has these male SATA plugs that allow you to basically connect these SATA connectors coming out of the drive bays and convert it to an SFF86, or sorry, uh, 8087 connector. But this is still not compatible with the 8643, right? So question is, how do we go about upgrading this machine to SAS 3 in light of this cabling uh, situation? And so the idea came to me, and this is the solution. This is an HP H240 HBA card. It's actually a hybrid RAID and HBA card. It has firmware that can be switched uh, to RAID mode versus uh, HBA mode. I have this currently in HBA mode. This is actually not a really great RAID controller. It does have some onboard cache, but it's a very small onboard cache. It's only 256 uh, megabytes, I believe. Yeah. So it's only 256 megabytes, which is really small for SAS 3 generation. And by the way, this is a SAS 3 controller. What's so special about this HP H240 is that it is a SAS 3 controller with SFF8087 connectors. So this is rather rare and unusual, but uh, it does work. And I've used this controller in various other uh, servers to run SAS 3 SSDs and it's worked just fine, even though it has an 8087 connector. And so this is basically the thing that's going to solve our problem because we still have this cable 
which we can convert those SATA plugs coming out of the drive bay into an 8087 and we can simply plug this in like that. And so today I'm going to demonstrate installing this card using this cable to convert these four drive bays into a SAS 3 setup for the HP Z840 and we're going to boot it up and see how it works. All right, so now word of caution. If you are running Windows on the HP Z840 or if you're running some sort of Linux distribution, the drivers for this particular H240 are available. That's not a problem. But uh, this is not a standard LSI chip. This is a special chip designed by HP, manufactured by Microsemi, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on those details, but basically the, the point is this is not a standard LSI controller. It is a custom chip. And so therefore the drivers are very HP specific. So if you're going to be using this setup, if we demonstrate that this actually works, and we're gonna find out in a moment here, but if we demonstrate that this actually works and you wanna try this setup in your machine, make sure to double check that the operating system you're using has the drivers for this card. If it's, if it's Windows and if it's Linux, you're probably good to go. If it's anything else, I'm not really sure. So make sure you do your homework before you go ahead and attempt this. All right, so let's get started and put this controller in to, actually, you know what, before I put the controller in, since I have the open space, let me pull out those SATA cables and get this wired up together. All right, so basically we're gonna have to just pull off these SATA plugs from the uh, onboard controller. So these come right off and I'm going to try to match up the numbers here. So these are labeled zero, one, two, and three. And so I'm gonna make sure that zero goes to zero, um, you know, just, just to be, uh... all right, let's see. Okay, and there's number two. Number two is right here. And then number three. All right, so we've got this connected and now we just have to get this plugged into that card once I get that installed. And so let me just put this thing aside and get it out of my way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install this card and I've already opened up a PCI slot and make sure this is a by eight card. And so you wanna make sure that you install this. You can pick any other slot, but make sure it is electrically by eight if you wanna get the full bandwidth of this card. All right, so. All right, that looks like it's plugged in. And now I just have to plug this F SFF8087 cable into one of the slots. I'm gonna go in blind here because I can't see the underside, but I think I can feel it. There we go. That click tells me that we're in there. Good. All right, uh, before I power this guy on, let me also put this uh, cover on because this is going to control the airflow in this zone. Make sure that we get the proper cooling. All right. And finally, I have one bay open here and that's because I've got this guy here. This is a uh, HGSD or Hitachi uh, SAS3 uh, SSD. It is from the HUSM, HUSMM series. It's a 400 gigabyte SAS3 SSD. One of my favorite um, SAS3 SSD models basically. So. I've got this mounted in this tray. I'm gonna go ahead and install this and we're gonna see if this guy shows up once we boot up with that H240 controller. And we'll, we'll double check to make sure that it has linked up at 12 gigabit speeds, which is the SAS3 link speed. All right, so we've got all the hardware installed now and let's go ahead and boot this guy up. All right, so here we go. Let me find the power button. All right, there we are, posting. There's the uh, option ROM display for the LSI onboard controller. All right, and there's the HP H240 controller, also initializing. And here we are, we're gonna boot up the operating system, which is Fedora 33, which I installed 
in one of my previous videos. All right, so we're at the login screen. All right, so from this point on, I'm gonna turn on the screen recorder and record from there so you guys get a better view of what's going on on the screen here. All right, guys, I've got the mic and screen recording set up, so hopefully you guys have a better view of what's going on on the screen here. And so first thing I wanna do is, well, let me just escalate privileges here for a second. And let's run LSPCI and make sure the H240 is Scene. So in fact, there it is. So there's the HP H240. And I want to make sure that I can see that SSD. And there it is. This is the HGST SSD showing up as dev SDA. All right, so let's go a little bit further and get some more information. I've already installed the HP, um, what is it called? The SSA, like the smart storage administrator or application or something like that and uh, I believe it's in uh, smart storage admin okay so let's get in here and I believe I can just run this command it's local all right and it's supposed to automatically launch Firefox or something so you can actually connect to it via a web browser but uh, there's some privilege issues there so I'm gonna have to do that step manually. Um, pulling up another terminal here and I'm gonna go find the port that that's listening on. So we'll do the netstat dash um, NTLP, grep for listening or listen. And all right, so SSA client right here. So it's on port 50477. So I will manually enter that here. Localhost 54077. And that didn't want, hold on a second. Did I get the port number wrong? 50477, all right. Sorry about that guys. So it's 5477. 5477, there we go. And there's a pop-up. I'll assume I need to do allow this. All right, great. All right, so here is the smart storage administrator and you can see we have the controller right here. And let's view some more details. And so it is indeed connecting at PCI 3.0 by eight, giving us almost eight uh, gigabytes per second of bandwidth. And so that card is working and I've got the latest 7.0 uh, firmware on this uh, power mode is in balanced mode and we've got both internal ports up the controller is currently at 48 degrees celsius this controller by the way does get a little bit hot um, i run it in other systems and usually it goes up to about 70 to 80 degrees celsius so uh, this just booted up, so it's still kind of cold, and it's kind of a cold day here today. All right, so let's see what other drives that are connected here. Uh, yeah, so this is the boot drive, the NVMe drive that's in there. That's not related to the H240, but on the H240, we do have this Hitachi drive, and it's the 400 gigabyte, and what I'm interested in is right here. So yeah, in fact, it is connecting at 12 gigabits per second. So there you go, guys. We have SAS3 link speeds on the internal drive base of the HP Z840 running at 12 gigabits per second here. So this is a viable option to upgrade the HP Z840 to SAS3 link speeds. And so if you wanna use SAS3 SSDs like I have here, and of course there's three more bays so you can add more. And there's also another port where you can add uh, some additional uh, SAS3 SSDs if you've got some sort of, um, uh, what do you call those things? The mobile racks or the enclosures that basically allow you to mount more SSD drives in the five and a quarter inch uh, bay that's available. In fact, there's two of them on the HP Z840. So there's plenty of space to add more drives that you can mount in this machine. 
and basically make use of the second port that's available on the H240. All right, guys, so th there you have it. it. In fact, it does work. This is an option to upgrade the HP Z840 to SAS 3. Now, uh, I made this video for the particular customer who was asking me about this. I had never actually thought about doing this myself on HP Z840. I actually have different plans for my Z840. I'm planning to put more hard drives in it and uh, I'm going to also be putting some very fast NVMe drives uh, in it. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, in a future video how I'm going to manage uh, setting up that storage in a way that is high performing, maximizing the performance uh, while maintaining uh, some redundancy and data protection. But anyway, that's for a future video. Uh, this video is for you know who you are. Uh, so hopefully this gives you some ideas of um, what you can do to upgrade to SAS 3. Now, um, that particular customer was actually asking also for a RAID controller to upgrade to uh, a SAS 3 RAID controller instead of an HPA. This H240 does have a RAID mode, but uh, I've found that it's not very high performing as a RAID controller, so I don't really recommend it, unfortunately. But as an HBA card, if you're using any kind of software storage technology, uh, whether that is you know ZFS or Linux software RAID, or perhaps in Windows space, uh, the storage spaces stuff, uh, which I don't really know anything about, honestly, um, you know, this would be a possible uh, solution to that. But as far as hardware RAID goes, unfortunately, I do not know of another um, SAS 3 controller that's hardware RAID that is actually a more um, meaningful RAID controller with more cache and better performance and all that, uh, that has the same SFF8087 connectors. There might be one out there, I don't know. Um, I'll have to take a look, but I, this, this would not be the one I would recommend if you want hardware RAID. And also for the cache to be effective on this H240, you uh, have to add uh, a super cap uh, to protect that cache in case of a power outage. And uh, without it, you'd have to disable that cache and then performance as a RAID controller just, you know, totally tanks. So just, again, it's just not really recommended uh, for a RAID controller um, setup. But as an HPA, this works great. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this gives uh, anybody who's looking to upgrade their HP Z840 to SAS 3 some ideas of how they can accomplish that uh, using the existing available cables and, and stuff like that. If you like this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up. And if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I do have this cable uh, and the HP uh, H240 available for sale in my eBay store. I'll leave links to those products as well as to my storefront down in the video description below. So go check those out if you want to support my channel. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.